Today we're going to be making my chocolate milk chocolate chunk brownies okay and I'm gonna tell you everything that's right here so what you're gonna see in this area here is a cup of granulate granulated sugar which is my raw um, raw sugar organic sugar that I get from Walmart I have two teaspoons of vanilla then over here I have three fourth cup of off-purpose flour two large eggs a half a teaspoon of salt and I have a fourth of a cup of Hershey's cocoa powder unsweetened and then I have a half a cup of um, butter and two tablespoons of butter and then over here I have my pan ready with parchment paper in it and I have my morsels that I'm about to double boil and we're gonna get this started so before we begin we're going to cut the oven on 350 and let that preheat and then the next step is going to take the butter and I'm going to put it in the microwave and let that melt because we need that melted in order to get this started and I also have a bar of milk chocolate you can use the milk chocolate of your choice dark chocolate whatever you choose from all these I'm going to chop that up and that's gonna go into the brownies a little bit later so let's get started with melting the butter so so as the butter is melting I'm gonna start this double boiling method and if you don't know what that is that is where you take and you put water into one pan and then you put a uh, stove safe or heat protectant bowl can be glass or stainless steel on top and you let that melt um, you let that water get hot and it will melt the contents inside of this bowl so we're gonna let that melt and I'm gonna come back and show you guys what that looks like or what you should be looking for is basically hold on let me grab my little thingy basically allowing it's already melting basically allowing that to get hot and melt everything in here and our butter should be ready and this here is exactly a half a cup of semi-sweet morsels and a remaining of about a tablespoon tablespoon of milk chocolate morsels that I'm going to be melting inside this double boiler concoction so I've set the chocolate aside and the knife aside. I'm going to pull my bowl up and we are going to get started with the butter is the first thing you have to do after you preheat it, your oven. Make sure it is on 350 as I stated and you're going to take and you're going to put your butter in here and you're also going to put your sugar in here. So this is the bowl we're mixing in. I was going to use my mixer but this is not a lot of concoction so um I wouldn't recommend using the mixture and it's really easy to do by hand so yeah then we're going to take the sugar and put that in there and then we're going to whisk this all together for a little bit until it's nice and smooth that's what you want it to look like and let's go to the next step now that we have this all smooth like this it is time to add in our eggs and our vanilla and we want to whisk all of this together and I tell y'all this is really simple it is really simple I just hope my camera have enough charge to continue this <laughs> so you want to whisk this for about a good minute or minute and a half I'm behind the camera like literally the camera is in between <laughs> my two hands the tripod is really weird but I'm getting this footage for y'all so you want this to be nice and smooth like this now that that's nice and smooth we're gonna go over to our double boiler to show you what that's looking like so this is what it is looking like because this is the next thing we need to put in that bowl I need to have gloves on so this is basically melted let me get my glove on hold on Try not to have to do too much editing guys <laughs> so my chocolate is melted as we see so we're gonna cut this off because we don't no longer need this in here let's go to the other side now it's time to mix our melted chocolate inside this this is only a half a cup guys half a cup dry measured and then melted it's gonna look a little different when it's actually done so you want to get all that goodness out of there and that's what your girl is doing getting all that goodness out of there and then it's time to whisk some more so you really do not need 
to have your mixer. So we're going to whisk this until it's nice and smooth. See, it's starting to look like brownie batter. So we're gonna move, keep mixing until it's nice and smooth. Now it's time to get the flour, cocoa powder, and the salt, and it's time to put that in. So, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna swap out that. Where's my spatula? I use this. And. Y'all, this is so simple, okay? Just trying not to move my tripod and trying to work around it. So you wanna stir this in until it's combined really well. And I want y'all to tell me how your family likes these brownies once you make them. It's ooh, ooh, very simple. And it's actually cheaper because if you have all the stuff that you need, you can use the sugar multiple times, the salt multiple times, the cocoa powder multiple times. I mean, you can make these multiple times if you buy the stuff. All the stuff needed for this in whole, even though you won't use it all at one time, is less than 15 bucks. But that's many times that you will be able to create these nice fudge, tasty brownies for you family for an event you can add walnuts you know my baby can't have nuts so i don't always put nuts and everything unless i know she doesn't want none but she loves brownies so yeah i just do them without and if i really want them i just put them on the top so yeah let me mix this up really well and i'll be right back now that that is mixed well the next step is grabbing our chocolate bar we putting all this in there. I'm going to open this up, and this is right from all these. I'm just gonna do it like this because I want it to be like chocolate chunks, and we're just gonna break that up in there, and that way we can have some nice chunks of chocolate because these are chocolate milk chocolate chunk brownies, and I actually don't even have to use all of these, so I'm probably gonna use half a bar maybe more depends now you could which this is what I was going to do just chop chop at the um the chocolate so that way it's nice and small and it can get all through the actual that's my oven ready all through the mixture so yeah So this is how much I'll have left of that once I'm done. I love when chunks of chocolate are in my brownie. Okay. And I know this was requested because I'm always talking about my brownie. So, and that is that. It's time for me to mix that up. And then it's time to put that in the pan. So we're gonna mix this up really well, like so. Hope I'm in the camera. I can kind of see, but when I'm turning my head to the side, I can't see everything. Hold on. So there we go. I'm gonna mix that up good, like this. And then we're gonna put this in our pre-greased pan, with parchment paper. homemade brownies from scratch. All right, let's get all this out the bowl. I'll be right back. All right, so once you got all the goodness out the bowl, you wanna just mash it around like so, all over to the different corners of your pan, like this. And this is like a nine by nine pan. If you want a bigger pan, you can just double the recipe, okay? Just double the recipe, that's all, guys. 
Now this is going to spread once it starts getting heated. So you don't have to really worry about getting it all, all, you know, all over. So it's time for this to go in the oven. All right, I'll be back guys. Be sure to bake for 30 minutes, guys. Now it is time for these to come out of the oven. And you want these to cool for 30 minutes and I have them on a baking rack. So we're gonna let these sit before you even cut into them or do anything for 30 minutes. So do not touch them. Do not touch them at all. Just let them cool for 30 minutes and you can set a timer. Don't they look good, guys? Oh my gosh, look. Nice makes them fudgy. So I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes and let them cool. All right, guys, they are done. And so they've been sitting here for 30 minutes. And so I'm gonna take them out the parchment paper and lay them on the counter. And so you guys can see me cut these bad boys. All right, All right guys, so these are the brownies. And they are done. Let me pull my camera back just a little bit. It's hard to cut them in the camera, but we are going to cut them so y'all can see how these bad boys came out y'all if y'all don't know nothing else just tell me y'all love me when y'all try these that's all i'm saying just tell me y'all love me when y'all try them all right so we're gonna go in and grab one of these bad boys and do y'all do y'all see <laughs> oh do y'all see what's going on do you see what's going on that's the milk chocolate and the semi-sweet chocolate is all in there these is cprs i actually made these my own i got this recipe years ago but i made it my own and look at those milk chocolate morsels i am on live and i'm sharing this but i'm also sharing with you guys and i'm getting ready to open this up so you guys can see the milk chocolate morsels and that is the brownie recipe i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys and make sure if you have any comments leave them below and all of the ingredients to this recipe will be below in the description box and i thank you guys for rolling with me as i make some fudge and milk chocolate chunk of brownies from scratch later gators